Hi guys, Sasha here. Welcome back to Creative Frenzy. Um, we're going to play in our art journal. <laughs> this is my board book art journal. Uh, and we're going to play. One thing I found during COVID and lockdown is that my paint ran out very quickly because I was experimenting and, you know, and you can't go anywhere to restock and resupply. So... I had to come up with a few different ways to make my paint last a little bit longer. And I found, instead of using a paintbrush, using one of these little plastic card thingies, it works the best. It spreads the paint nicely, it covers quite well, and you know, that's what we want. And it doesn't use too much paint. And you can control how much you put down. You can come back and take some away. Basically the same as palette painting. It's a lot of fun. I do have a couple of um, little palette knives, but why use a palette knife when you can use something like this? <laughs> and it's easy cleanup. You just wipe it down and let it dry, okay? Um, I'm going to dry this. Please feel free to um, fast forward, okay? bore you with any more drying time. Um, the idea is making your paint last longer or go further. Let's put it that way. So this is one of the ways you can do it is just by using a scraper and using a very thin layer. You could use a paintbrush but a paintbrush absorbs quite a bit. This way you can use whatever you have on hand in order to scrape it and use it. Um, this is a board book, so it um, has very bright, you know, it's for kids, right? So it has very bright colors. I don't necessarily want all those bright colors in my journal page. So uh, I would normally let this dry, but today, you know what, we're going to play with it. Who knows if we might end up with something pretty cool. Um, let's see, we're going to use some white with it. I don't think I've ever done it while it was still wet, so we're going to try it. Maybe we'll end up with some really cool effects, but it adds texture, which I really, really, absolutely love. Because you just sort of skim over it. And see the kind of texture you get? It's just so pretty. I really, really like that. So I'm going to use some green because you can still see some green from before. You know, from the... Instead of fighting the background, I'm going to work with it. Why not? I'm going to add some in different areas. I don't know. Just playing. And just applying it in different areas 
And instead of fighting that background and covering it up all the way, I'm going to add some of that color in different areas just to make it look like it's part of it. Why fight it, right? Can't beat them, join them. So that's what I'm doing. But that white is still wet, so it allows for different, um, like, so you, you're mixing the white and the blue and the green together, so you get a lighter color and you get the texture over top of it. And the looser you hold your card, the more texture you get. So doesn't that look nice? I really, really, really enjoy that. And yes, there's still color that comes in from behind, but you know what? Now you don't notice it as much. Now it just sort of feels like it's part of the uh, art page. So that's what I like about this. So this is a good way to extend your paint, make it last a little bit longer, go a little further, and you get great results with it every single time. I swear to you. You know, this one I used a uh, white background and... I had to use quite a bit of white, but you know, then I used three different colors over top and some stenciling. But here, I didn't do a background. I just did the blue and then the lighter colors over top and it worked out really, really nice. Really nice. I really enjoy this. So yeah, you know, simple tools. You don't even have to have a paintbrush. So that's one way to extend your paint and make it go a little further. Another way is, oops, here we go is to water down your paints. So let's say you only have a little bit of paint left or you want to make a bunch of these like I did and then have them on hand for experimentation. That's great. You can recycle some bottles, whatever. You don't have to. If you have a paint jar that or paint bottle that's almost empty, just fill it up with water, shake the devil out of it and use it as a watercolor. Okay? So let's set this one aside because that is pretty wet and I'm not going to bore you with any more drying find a spot to dry it. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of space. <laughs> That's what you get when you have so many different projects on the go. It's kind of hard to keep it all together. Okay, so here I did some experimentation with the watercolors, okay? I'm calling them watercolors. Yeah, DIY watercolors? Let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, it basically has the same effect as a watercolor because it's acrylic and you water it down. So, but you get the same kind of idea with it, okay? Oh, yeah, I know. I've done this video several times now. Normally I only make one video and call it a day. But my last video that I put up, I'm trying to remember now, two videos ago, it didn't turn out well and I still uploaded it and... I'm not sure how you feel about it, but you know, it's like, it's not the greatest, but I put it out there anyway. So you get the gist of it. But the idea, you know, it, it's still watercolor. So it's very watered down. You can pour it straight onto your paper. You can do the smooshing effect, you know, do your art um, smoosh. It is messy because it's quite runny. Okay, but there's different ways of doing this, and you can just sort of play and experiment, see what you like. Um, don't use all your good papers up, because that would get very frustrating if you can't, um, oh my goodness, there, <laughs> the lid didn't want to go on. Um, yeah, if you don't use all your good papers, it's probably better. Now, I do have some sketchbook paper, so instead of some more watercolor paper. I'm just going to grab one of those. I'm just going to grab a sheet out of there. Because what I like about it is thinner and I could use it for collage, which is nice. You could use these for collage too. You can make, you know, art journal cards out of them, whatever you felt like. But this way, you know, you can just sort of play with it. And not take it too seriously. Just make sure you let it dry. Okay. But see how that just 
it's really nice and light because it is essentially a watercolor. So this is another way you can sort of make your paints last longer, which is ideal for different projects. You know, for backgrounds on cards, whatever you felt like. If you didn't feel like taking your dist I don't have any um, distress oxide, so you know, I could use my distress inks if I wanted to, but I don't feel like it, and I don't always want to take out my acrylics and whatnot else. So if I already have a bunch of them made, then I'd be more apt to use them, and I don't have access to any of the sprays or anything like that. So, you know, I'm making do with what I have and making it last longer. So that's half the fun is trying different things. Let's see. Um, the other thing you can do is make them into sprays, and you can put them into little spray bottles. So these ones, these spray bottles I got at the one of our discount stores here in town, which works really nice too. You can just, this one's with alcohol ink, but you could just as easily, you know, put acrylic paint in there as long as it doesn't stop up your sprayer. Okay. And you could do the same sort of thing and just have fun with it. Let it dry. You can stamp on it. You can collage with it. You can use it for um, wrapping paper if you wanted to wrap a small gift or something like that. You know? <coughs> Excuse me. There's lots of different things you could do. So, yeah. Uh, two different ways to extend your paint. So one is to spread it on very thinly uh, directly onto your um, art journal page and then just use a little scraper and you know, use a small amount of paint that way, no palette required, or you can make your own little watercolor bottles um, or fill up whatever's left over in your paint bottle. So, yeah, that's it, guys. That's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you get some ideas and uh, let me know if you can think of any other ones. I'd be interested to know if you've made any of your own things. And, you know, we're always looking for new supplies and ways to save money. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.